Hello, this time we're going to disassemble uh, Asus laptop, the model is uh, X54H. Uh, it's pretty similar with the X54C, uh, so basically the procedure is the same, but since I gotta open it because uh, it has problems, I decided to make a video. The first thing of course is remove the battery. After that, we're gonna take the back cover here, which uh, holds the hard drive and the RAM memory. The problem with this laptop is that uh, when you press the power button, all the lights are you know, on, but there is nothing on the screen. It's uh, with uh, IMD graphics, so I think it's overheated and uh, it's got a bad VGA chip. But we'll test it now. Take the back cover. The next thing is to remove the hard drive. Just slide it like this and it will pop up. We'll disconnect the Wi Fi module. I think it's not necessary, but just in case. Uh, now we have to remove all the screws in the back, pretty much they are all the same, so you shouldn't be worried, I think only the two screws which are holding the hinges are a little shorter, all others should be the same. We okay, have, I think, two here on the underneath the battery. Yep. Now we'll flip the laptop like this, and the next thing is we have to take down the keyboard, use something sharp. Find find a proper spot uh, like this, and just push the clips and open the keyboard. Uh, I think they, there'll be a liquid damage underneath, but we'll see. Just open the lock mechanism, disconnect the power button, uh, here we have one screw for the CD drive. Let us see, is there a screw? Yeah, after removing the CD drive, you have to take the two screws underneath the CD, they are quite shorter, so... Uh, we forgot two screws here on the back. Now, we'll remove the rest of the screws underneath the keyboard. They're all the same size also. Disconnect the cable for the touchpad. And now we have to separate the two parts. Mm. Start someplace where you decide. 
with something sharp. Once you get loose one of the sides, the yeah, other should be much more easy. Like this, just lift it up. It's quite dirty inside. We have a little sign of a liquid damage here which I'll try to clean after that. Now we have to remove the connector here for the right USB. We have to disconnect the cable for the speakers in here. We have to disconnect the, the fan because um, we'll lift everything with the fan. Also we have to disconnect the LCD cable, which is pretty much stuck in here, like this. Now we have to remove the screw, which uh, one screw which is holding the fan, and I think yeah, one here, right next to the fan connector. The whole board is held on uh, one screw, so it should be easy. Now lift the whole board like this. Let me find something to put the board. Always when you disassemble a laptop, check the hinges because with the time they are getting loose and which can cause other problems after after a while now here uh, this laptop hasn't been open yet because the warranty sticker is un intact so it's I think four or five year old laptop try to clean your machines every two years let's say Depends on the quality of the thermal paste you are putting. Just slide it a little bit left to right and lift the cooler. Let's see what's inside. Yep. Probably you can see here. Uh, the autofocus is not. Yeah. You can see what amount of dust is in here. So basically, right now I'm going to clean everything here. Clean the old thermal paste. Uh, clean the, the water damage on the board and I'll reassemble everything and check is it gonna work or not if not probably the VGA chip is bad you can try to reheat it a little bit with the hot air station let's say 450 degrees for about 20 seconds and if you have light then the chip is bad and the best way is to to replace the chip with a new one so basically that's it. I hope you liked the video. Bye bye for now.